<laughs> uh, my question is um, on the importance of the staff that you currently have. So one of the things um, that I've heard is it's possible for the ethnic studies program to stick around, but with um, a new crew, um, basically whitewashing the, the program. So you know you keep it around, so people think they're happy, but at the same time you get rid of all the teachers or some of the, pe the influential pe people. So can you speak about the importance of the, the teachers that you have right now and how you know you can't have the program without the teachers. Okay. Well, um, well, for myself, I um, one experience is um, well. I guess I should start by saying that the teacher makes all the difference. And um, I've been to ten different schools in my academic career, and um, one of the high schools that I went to was CDO. And um, I have a pretty good perception of the different kinds of schools in Tucson, as far as a school that's in Oro Valley and is surrounded by golf courses and resorts and hotels and Tucson High, which is surrounded by federal state buildings and you know things like that. And um, for myself, I've, I never experienced any kind of prejudice. I've never experienced any kind of discrimination um, until I went to CDO. And going there, there was a very limited curriculum. You were an AP or you were not an AP, and that was it. And as far as like Spanish, for example, I had a really amazing teacher, um, Ms. Tamayo, and Spanish was her first language. And um, she was a really great teacher. Um, and they started doing budget cuts at my school. And there was two Spanish teachers. There was Ms. Tamayo and there was Ms. Smith. Mm -hmm. Ms. Tamayo got fired, <laughs> even though Spanish was her native language she got fired from being a Spanish teacher. So that gave me one perspective on the school and the school board. And um, I heard about Latino literature the halfway through my junior year. And I begged my mom for me to go to Tucson High and take the class, and she finally gave in. And I just, I fell in love with my teacher. I fell in love with the class. And um, these classes do promote a sense of family and you become connected to your teachers and I, you know, I consider my teachers like my tios and my tias. And, you know, seeing, when I first heard about all the attacks that they were getting and all the hurtful things that people were saying about them, it really affected me. Whereas at any other school, at any other classroom, if I were to hear that, I'd feel upset, but not to that kind of degree where it was personal. And so, these classes are nothing without the teachers. The teachers are what made these classes, and it's theirs. They, theirs to share with us. It's something that they created for us to share with us. And if you have someone else teaching that, it doesn't make any sense. 